Haley here with the poll list for October 2nd, 2013, presented by longboxradio.com. Uh, admittedly, not a really strong week for books. I didn't have a lot to pick up, uh, but I brought in some trades, so I had some extra credit. So I bought some extra books, and uh, I'll let you know which ones those are. Anyways, uh, this week from Vertigo uh, DC Comics, we have Ferris number uh, 20 right there. Uh, book that I've followed. It's already issue 20. Time does fly. Another great cover, of course, uh, following um, the Maharaja here. It's good stuff. <laughs> Moving on to DC, we have Swamp Thing number 24. We're out of Villains of Month as far as Swamp Thing is concerned. Uh, we're going to have Swamp Thing versus the Cedar here. Coming to us from Charles Soule. I don't know if there's another way to pronounce that name, but uh, he's been taking up the mantle from, uh, um, from Scott Snyder. I don't know if there's another writer in between there. I think there may have been, but it's a great book still. If you like Swamp Thing, I do highly recommend it. Uh, the only copy of this book that was sent to uh, to my particular comic book store, for whatever reason, it was an ordering error or something like that, is The Witching Hour. Uh, which is a one-shot from uh, from Vertigo, which I honestly don't know a whole hell of a lot about. Uh, I know it's an $8 book, that's for sure. Um, Nine Tales of Divine Horse. It's kind of like an anthology, I guess, with a bunch of short stories. Uh, I've heard really, really good things. I like the cover, and I had the extra credit, so I totally grabbed it. Witching Hour. Um, going over to Image Books, we have from James McCann, Mind the Gap, number 15. I'm an issue behind on this book. I haven't read 14 yet. I'm going to do that probably uh, sometime this evening. But there it is all the same. I don't know if this is a variant. There were two covers there. I think this is the the cover A, as it were. So there you have it. Uh, moving on to Marvel. Um, Marvel, I wouldn't have had any books from this week unless I had that credit and just grabbed some random stuff. So I grabbed Hunger number 2. Admittedly, Hunger number 3 is out today. Uh, but I haven't even read the first one yet, so I just thought I'd grab this. I had the extra three boxes. It's a free digital copy, so you can get that right here, right now. It's a book from a month ago, but hey, whatever. Free's free. Uh, and then moving over to Infinity Tie-In, we have Mighty Avengers number two, a book that I was done with after the first issue. It's fine. You have Luke Cage, you have Superior Spider-Man, uh, the new Power Man, and, and uh, etc. Left behind kind of after everything's going on in space, so there are no Avengers on Earth, quote-unquote. Uh, but there's this ragtag team, and they're going to uh, be out together and defend Earth as the Avengers. So that's what Mighty Avengers is about. That appeals to you. Go pick it up. If you like Superior Spider-Man, uh, he's very Superior Spider-Man in this book. I don't know how else to put it. Cool book. Free digital code will be after the uh, the episode here. Speaking of episodes, uh, Longbox Radio episode 49 is now available. If you go to longboxradio.com, you can hear me, Mike, and Rob uh, talk about all the new movies, TV shows to do with comic books as well as uh, some comic book news. And we're catching up because we haven't done an episode since July or something like that. We're going to try to make that a more regular thing. Uh, if we can bring everybody together, it is a very busy time of the year. But anyways, go enjoy that. It's like an hour and a half long of comic book talk. Other than that, uh, look for those free digital codes. Thank you, as always, for watching.